There is an ongoing outbreak of Mpox in the country, but we are not hearing much about it. A new case of Mpox has been recorded in the country, according to the Department of Health. Philippine health experts are also alarmed by the rise in the country's Mpox cases. Infectious diseases specialist Ron Jean Solante says it is a serious concern. Ano po ba ang outbreak? Paano masasabi ang isang sakit ay outbreak? The Department of Health said this week that HIV is a bigger problem of the country. And I agree that the burden of disease of HIV is bigger. But do we have to wait for Mpox to be bigger for us to focus more on it? 52 to 100 plus ang total count natin ng 2024. Kung may 911 na po tayong cases ngayong Mayo, ibig sabihin nitong nakaraang limang buwan, meron tayong 775 or almost 800 na kaso. Halos isang libong kaso sa limang buwan. Kabahabahala na ba ito? Hindi na ba ito outbreak? Ito na ba ang bagong normal natin? Although fortunately, we currently see no evidence na nakakahawa ang mga completely asymptomatic na tao or carriers lamang. 92% reported rashes. Specifically, 52% of cases reported genital rash. In two other independent studies, 73% had rashes in their anal and genital areas. It begs the question, why are we seeing three-year-olds being infected by Mpox? Is it just because of prolonged skin-to-skin -skin contact with an infected parent? Or is the child sexually abused? The abuse. Part of crisis management should be building readiness for the future. Why are we so complacent now that we have 50 new cases tayo monthly? It now becomes more than just a health crisis. Other departments of government have to be involved. After being crowned Miss Manila, Casey Halili was poised to take her place among her pageant friends and colleagues. But rather than chasing crowns abroad, she walked away from the runway and stepped into a different arena. Casey Halili traded the glitz of pageantry for the rigor of medicine, swapping high heels for hospital scrubs and photo shoots for public service. She holds a Master of Science in Sexual and Reproductive Medicine from the University of South Wales and completed postgraduate training at Yale University. Credentials she uses not just in clinics or conferences, but in classrooms, online platforms, and everyday conversations. Today, Dr. Casey Halili is a doctor who loves talking about sex confidently, publicly, and without shame. For her, sexual health isn't taboo, it's essential. Whether she's posting on TikTok, giving a campus lecture, or speaking to women inside correctional facilities, she breaks down complex issues with clarity and compassion, empowering Filipinos to know their bodies and own their choices. At a time when most avoid these conversations, Casey leans in, because for her, medicine isn't just about treatment, it's about truth, and she's only just getting started.